your boy Pete Camp, man. It's time to talk some basketball. You know what I'm saying? With uh with this new Laker news, man. My boy Brian is is back with the Lakers for an extension. Uh two year extension he signed, which will take him through the 22-23 season. You know what I'm saying? That's love right there. Uh, we still waiting on AD to sign. I think AD was waiting. I don't know. Well, AD is sign. I hope it's not like, you know, where it's smoke is fire type thing with going on with that. Because AD, to me, should be the successor of this team to, you know, the younger blood to go forward. Now, I don't, I don't see these next two years as being the last two years of LeBron playing. But he got um, $85 million for the two years, which is love. But I think he's going to, you know, continue to play after that. Probably still with the Lakers, hopefully. But because uh, they got a good thing going there. But depending on how long they can sign up AD for, I think AD should stay a Laker, man, and and rock with Brian to finish his career out and be the successor of the team, you know what I'm saying, as LeBron retire or whatever. Then, boom. You still got AD to build around, and you could bring other pieces in. Now, people was talking about Giannis coming to to um, the Lakers. For uh, I see, I ain't never, I ain't look. Let's get this real. I'm a Brian fan. I'm, I'm more of a player type of fan. You dig what I'm saying? Like I ain't just a Brian fan, but I'm a, I'm a Jordan fan. I've, I've I've been a Kobe hater and a Kobe fan. You know what I'm saying? Didn't know who he was playing. You know what I'm saying? Like I like players. You dig what I'm saying? I like Giannis. I like uh, Kevin Durant. You know what I'm saying? Can't stand Kyrie Irving. You know I loved, I loved him when he helped us help Cleveland get that one championship. But Kyrie get on my nerves now. But um, I love James Harden. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he got some flaws. But I'm a player. I'm a player type of guy. When a guy go to a new team, I like that team. You know what I'm saying? But I've always been a diehard. Um, Pistons fan, I just can't keep watching. You understand what I'm saying? I want to watch, but it ain't much to watch. But Brian on the Lakers, I love the Lakers right now. You know what I'm saying? Come on, you can't be that. I, I have been saying this for years before it happened. I'm talking about years before it happened. I'm talking about the only way that uh, LeBron is going to be able to come close to, can, uh, only way that LeBron is going to be able to. Uh, beat Golden State besides that one championship that he got is to team up with uh, Anthony Davis. I said either Anthony Davis or maybe Giannis uh, if they team up with those one of those guys he can get over the hump. You know what I'm saying? But I said especially Anthony Davis. I said that's the only way. And I, and I was so happy to see it happen. You know what I'm saying? And as you can see, it works. You know what I'm saying? But everybody talking about Kawhi and come on, man. I knew Kawhi and Paul George wasn't going to be the answer as soon as that happened. But I ain't going to take y'all too far down memory lane. We had to talk about the future. But anyway, LeBron got the extension, and then now we talking about um, what Anthony Davis is going to do. I hope it ain't no smoke where to smoke fire. They ain't going on there because you hope Davis is planning on signing with the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? But I heard he was waiting to see what Giannis was going to do. Because if they fo if they was able to bring Giannis in, because Giannis hadn't signed with the Bucks yet. He got till December 21st to sign with the Bucks. So I was uh, peeping that they said he was waiting to see if Giannis would sign with the Lakers, then how he would try to work his contract to make all of it fit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they got some expensive players there, but they're going to make it happen just like any other team making that, just like Golden State made it happen. They're going to make it happen. So that would have been crazy. But I heard Giannis also just recently say, like, uh, or my bad, somebody quoted him. He was on a podcast or something. He was like, yo, I would love to play with LeBron or AD or Kevin Durant or whoever. I don't mind being a number two or three or number four. You know what I'm saying? But he said, I would love for them to come join the Bucks." and play and at this point that, that ain't uh that ain't happening maybe you could get something popping with james harden but it looked like he headed to the to the nets so 
I don't know what to tell you. I don't think nobody can come in and join you just this moment with the Bucks. You know what I'm saying? Your best bet would have been to go somewhere else, but it looked like he pretty locked in on staying with the Bucks. No, no harm. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lakers still got a squad. They just got Dennis Schroeder. But only thing with him, he sound goofy because as soon as he signed, he like, man, I, I want to be starting point. But it's like, why would you come in wanting to be nine? Like, Trent, I love Rondo. I wish they could have kept Rondo, but it looked like Rondo was going to make a move. So, you don't want to be left, you know, holding the bag on that one. So, you go get Schroeder. Now, you've been a six man, but now you want to get here and be a starter? Okay. You could start, but not at the point, though. That's, I don't know. I don't know how, they, I don't know if they're going to do that or not. Um. Uh, I just don't. LeBron averages like 10, 10 plus assists. You dig what I'm saying? He like ten assists a game. I, I don't. I'm not looking at the, the the stats right now, but you know what I'm saying? It like it's often that he has a triple double or something, which means he got ten or more assists playing the point. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and pushing and making sure people do what they do. And getting 25, 30 points on the, on the back end of that, too. So why would you come in as Schroeder and be like, I, I average four assists, but you want to start? It seemed like you're more of a starter than a – more of a scorer than you are a um, passer or facilitator, even though you ran a backup point for OKC. So why not come in and play the two? You dig what I'm saying? Or three or whatever. Like, I, it just, that would have made way more sense to me to come in on that tip than to come in like, I want to start at point. Because now if you start at point, then you're saying you need to rearrange Brian and move him to what other position. Even though he could play any position, I'm just saying, I don't know if the flow of things is still going to be captured the same way without him facilitating the ball like he do because he's such a great passer. So why would you come in and disrupt that while y'all trying to get a ring? But apparently they say the agent made that be known and they signed off on it. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, and then I just seen an interview with Brian talking, which didn't look like he discounted it. He said, we got a point guard. You know what I'm saying? We signed. He didn't say whether it was six man or not. You know what I'm saying? He said we got a point guard, so I don't know if he is okay with moving to another position or, or what. Even if he is, I, I don't know if that's the right move. Maybe you try it out, you see how it works. If it ain't working, then you go back. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. I don't know what type of guarantees they made. But anyway, it's still a good move because he still put up 18 points a game, Schroeder. So, and then you got uh, Montrez Harrell, too. They snatched him for the Clippers. Uh, they said the Clippers ain't want him, so, but that's good. You know what I'm saying? And then the Clippers, the Clippers talking about trading uh, Lou Williams. Like, why would you trade Lou Williams? I don't even understand why Lou Williams is still a six man, bro. I feel like if there's anybody who should be hollering about being a six man, it should probably be him instead of Dennis Schroeder. Lou Williams, like, I for the past years, I've been like, what, how is he scoring this many points? He come scoring 30 points off the bench, and he's still a six man? I get, I may kind of get how y'all do that because y'all love to have that second team come out and, and still be energized like that, which I, I'm not mad at that, but... Same token, I don't know, man. Like y'all looking for Paul George, to, George to be that third person. Maybe it should have just been Lou Williams, Kawhi, Lou, and you know. But I don't know, man. Do what y'all do. But whatever y'all do, it ain't gonna be enough. I, I, I didn't see, I didn't see uh, y'all getting past the Lakers last year, and, uh, and y'all ain't even making past Denver. So I definitely don't see. Um, I don't know, unless y'all about to make a splash or something, 
But I, I'm still waiting to see, man. I'm just waiting to see everything about the about what AD gonna do. Make sure he gonna be, you know, with the Lakers. And uh, I think Giannis gonna stay with the Bucks. I don't know what's gonna happen with James Harden though. Like James, it's safe to be him and K, um, uh, Westbrook say they don't want to be in Houston no more. But. I don't really know how you're going to get to the Nets without – you You have no leverage. What, are you going to not play? You're going to play like a bum? No. We know you got to get your points. So I don't, I don't see what leverage you have to make Houston trade you to the Nets just to get nothing back. If I was Houston, I'm not giving you up for nothing. Are you nuts? You're James Harden. You want me to trade you to this team to make y'all an automatic uh, NBA Finals contender <laughs> so I can be stuck in rebuilding mode and I'm getting nothing back? Like, you're not giving me nothing. You know what I'm saying? What, you trying to give me Kyrie Irving? No, I don't want that. Kyrie's a solid player, but I don't know. Not for James Harden. No, he's obviously not the one to build a, 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 a championship team around. Kyrie know that, you know what I'm saying? He came to that that uh, that realization after he talked all that junk and left Cleveland. He got to looking goofy in, in, when he was in that Celtics uniform and realized he wasn't the player he thought he was. You talk all that junk about LeBron, but you leave and realize you ain't the player. Then he was talking to junk. Oh, this is the first time I can come down and see a player and know, oh, I think he can hit that shot too. If you don't shut your goofy head, like stupid looking, like, come on, bro. If you don't shut up, go somewhere and sit down with that, bro. Every stat that LeBron has says otherwise to what you're saying, bro. You understand what I'm saying? And you still taking shots. Well, I don't know why you still taking shots, bro. Let it let it go. You gone, I'm gone. Do your thing. And the damn thing he was saying, he the only player that could make that shot. Boy, if you don't cut it out. You just still sick that you went to you went to the Celtics and was looking goofy because you thought you was going to be the guy. And you were the guy, but what you figured out about yourself was that guy was not good enough to get anybody anywhere. You understand what I'm saying? You're an accessory, bro. You're a great accessory, but you're an accessory. You're not the guy. Kevin Durant's the guy. You know what I'm saying? That's the guy. He made that team. By him coming to the Nets, he made y'all contenders. When you were there without him, y'all were just another bum team, bro, with uh with one name on it. You dig what I'm saying? But yeah, if I'm if I'm Houston, I'm sorry, man. I'm not I'm not trading James Harden to to get nothing in return. Or NBA picks. No. Nah, bro. You gonna have to be here. So all of that big three y'all talking about over there, you can just shut all that down, bro. I'm not giving you up for pennies. I'm sorry. Y'all better three-way trade or get something together. But it's not going to happen today. Not just to give you up to go win with them. Nah, you crazy. But, hey, it's the NBA, baby. They're they going to get started in December. Like, so we right around the corner. I can't wait. Like, Get back to business. I wish the Pistons would do something. You know what? I actually I was glad that the Pistons. I'm about to talk some junk, but I'm glad the Pistons, Pistons had a good draft, man. I was proud to see that they was shaking and baking and moving around and making a couple moves. You know what I'm saying? But along with those moves, you still got to add. You still got to get in the mix, man, and and, and you got to add something to Blake Griffin, man. You got to hope he stays some type of healthy, but 
I was glad to see they had a good draft. They had a good draft, man. But um, you still got to go out in free agency and, and be able to put something together or some type of trade. I don't, even though a trade, I don't know what you have to give. You don't have anything to give besides draft picks. You know what I'm saying? So work that or you can work free agency. But y'all got to get in the mix and, and get something going, man. Give me something to cheer about, Pistons, you know, but good draft, though. Happy to see that, but it's your boy PCAT, man. Like, subscribe, put something in the comments, tell me what you think about this NBA season because I think LeBron is going to repeat to him and AD as long as AD signs, but it's your boy PCAT, man. Tell me what y'all think. Get at you, boy.